Hi guys and welcome to the 2021 mini mail challenge. Today I'm going to be opening up 15 letters for you guys. I've also got two packages at the side that also have mini mail in them as well for you. Now there's going to be two winners within this mini mail challenge today. The first winner you guys are going to select. So if you go to the description section, I've got a voting poll that will take you to another website. All you'll have to do is click on the number that you liked. And while I'm opening up these mini mails today, I'm going to have a number beside them. So make sure you jot down the number in order to vote at the end. Um, the second winner I'm going to choose and I'm going to be basing my categories for the winner based on creativity, design and effort. So let's jump right in and let's get started. So I'm going to start with the smallest mini mail today and there's no return address on this so I can't see who's it from yet but I can see it's from the UK because there is an image on the Queen on the side. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh my goodness, it's a little envelope inside of one. They both have my address on them. That's so adorable. Also, I'm going to be saying the words adorable, cute, and oh my god, a lot. So, <laughs> disclaimer. Oh, this is so lovely. So, it's a little flip book that opens, and it looks like there's little envelopes stuck onto each other to make all the little pockets. So, the first one says gift. Oh, and there's a little ink bottle, so I'll pop that one down and we'll open that one up in a second. The next one says goodies. And we've got these really adorable stickers. Oops, one fell. So we've got like butterflies, rainbows, this little girl. <laughs> and then some more stickers. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys sending me so many goodies in the mail. I love using them. And you'll often see me use your goodies um, in mail that I make on this channel. So always check that out. Oh, and then we get a little mini mail. All right, I'll put that down. So I think this one opens up further. This might be the letter. So like always, I'm not going to open the letter up on the camera, but I can see there's four pieces of paper inside. That's very adorable. I'll pop this sticker back on now. Alrighty, let's see what's inside of this little one. So, I'm really liking the colours of this as well. <gasps> it gets smaller! Look how adorable! Alright, what have we got? So we've got a little mini washi tape sample. Then we've also got a teeny tiny envelope. Look how small that is. <gasps> okay. I'll pop that one down, I'll open that one next. And then we've got a scrapbook. This is so adorable. And look, it's even sewn at the side here. There's another cute little sticker, some more stickers. So maybe they've designed it so that I can use it. Yeah, they have. <gasps> so there's nothing inside, so it's perfect for me to start using it and designing my own little pages. Oh, that's such a lovely idea. Thank you. And then we've got this teeny tiny envelope. All right. Also, I just got my nails done <laughs> for this video specifically because I knew there'd be so many close ups. Okay. I'm going to have to pour it out. This is so cute. Oh, the little hollow parts. I can use these for my Valentine's Day um, DIYs and little bits of like patterned paper and sequins. That's so lovely. See if I can pull this back in. Oh, I don't know if I can. I'll have to do that later. So this really fun, vibrant little mini mail was from Eloise from the UK. So thank you so much. So next we have this box from Michelle. And I don't know how this is part of the mini mail challenge. I might have got this mixed up with regular mail, but let's check. So there's a little note on the top that says, please don't squish me. Oh my goodness. This is a mini mailbox. I can't believe this. Oh. Look at this beautiful mini mailbox. Look at that mail. There's washi tape all around it. This is the cutest. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this actually opens and there's mini mail inside. <laughs> oh 
This is absolutely gorgeous. I really want to make one. I love this so much. And this is going to be sitting on my desk. So I'm going to stand that over there. And I'm going to show you what was inside of the mailbox. So we've got this adorable vellum envelope with this wax seal on the top. Oh, everything's decorated to match the mini mail. I mean the mailbox. Look. Boop. So cute. Okay. This video is going to go forever if I keep putting mail in the mailbox. So this was the first one. And then we've got little memo cards. And they look like little postcards. And then there was a few more envelopes. So these were all the envelopes inside. Then we also had this little book and a piece of paper that says I am enough. Actually, it's a bit of cardboard actually. So where should we start? <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention there was also a bag inside. What was inside this one? <gasps> These beautiful handmade earrings. Oh my goodness. And they honestly, they match the style of the, um, the post box. <gasps> Thank you so much for making these. These are so lovely. Let's start opening all the little mini envelopes. So this one has a washi tape sample inside and they're really pretty. And I even like the packaging they've used to wrap the washi tape on. Thank you. A little Hello Kitty envelope. So there's some writing paper inside of this one so I can use that one up. They've all got goodies inside. So some stickers and another little card that says right now. So this little vellum envelope has some more goodies. So we've got bits of paper and some stickers. So that was the little letter inside of that one. This one has little Alice in Wonderland stickers. Or maybe they're Disney themed. <gasps> Look, they're Disney themed. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. And then we have this teeny tiny one. Oh, I hope I don't rip it. I'm going to rip it. Ah! And there's a bunch of teeny tiny stickers inside. So cute, thank you. So this is the smallest one and it's the only one that fits inside of the front slot. There we go. It looks like we also have a flip book with a mini um, peg. Sorry for the construction you can hear in the background. <gasps> this is so lovely and little pockets and stickers inside. That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, I might peg it back up. And then these goodies at the end. Thank you again for this little mini package and mailbox. I just can't get over how cute this is. So I'm gonna open the next parcel just cause that other one was so amazing. I can't even imagine what's in this big box. Oh, this is so cute. I think they've just popped it in a big box so it doesn't get lost in the mail. This collage on the front is really lovely and they've got a little Instagram on the back as well. So go check them out. Oh my goodness, this is so chunky. <laughs> And look, a little matchbox that's been made into a little mini mail. So I'm going to do the little matchbox first. And it says you've got mail on the top and then it's got a little um, post box. And the whole matchbox has been designed so lovely. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is looking so cute. <gasps> look at that. Okay, I need to get a photo before I open it. <laughs> so inside we've got this adorable adorable bunch of flowers so cute and then we've also got a little wax um, melt and then holy moly isn't this the most adorable little package you've ever seen so there's even it's even been tied up with a little bow I want to make sure this is in focus so my address has been written on the front it also says Royal Mail on the side, and there's also little mini stamps at the very top there. How cute! Okay. There's a little mini book inside, and it looks like the Traveler's Notebook. So that's actually a little wax seal at the top, and I had to cut it because it wouldn't open. So you can see it's been bound by twine at the side. <gasps> And, oh my goodness, they've made it so it's blank inside so I can make my own design. That's really lovely. What a cute idea. I'm going to pop it back in. Alright, so next we have this big book. Look at how gorgeous this bow is on top. It's been clipped together with a teeny tiny safety clip. 
I'll have to keep that, that's really pretty. I love that big mushroom. So I just had a quick peek of the little letter here and it says Serviana actually lives in the same city as me. She said enjoy the warmth. <laughs> so thank you. Um, and then this actually opens up, so it flips up. This is such a creative idea and I said I'd be looking out for creative ideas to pick a winner. Up and then across. Okay. Let's see what's in each of these openings. So this one had the tea. This one here. We've got lots of goodies inside. So stickers, mainly stickers actually. I was going to say these are postage stamps, but they're also stickers. So thank you. I'll pop all those back in. And then when we flip this one down, we've got... I'm guessing there's goodies in each flap. Oh, that's so lovely. It says post office, post office at both sides. <gasps> and then a little hand-drawn mushroom. These are really sweet. Watercolours and stamps. These are a little homemade things, I think. Oops, they're not going to slide back in. I'll just close that one up. And then... Oh, it's another little flip-out book. And there's all postage stamps in that one. We've got this gorgeous wax seal. And then this one, I think we've got a little sample of some twine or some ribbon. Thank you so much for sending these mini mails. They were so creative. I'm really excited to see what's inside this little Kiki's delivery service envelope um, because it's one of my favorite Ghibli movies. And this one is from Esther from Victoria, so here in Australia. Wow, this packaging is so beautiful. And I love the collaging on it as well. I'm just always blown away how creative you guys are with everything you create in these PO box openings. They give me so many ideas. Yep, I had to rip that. So I also have a few regular sized letters that also came in the mail over the last month, but I'm gonna have to wait until I fill up all of my mini mails <laughs> to then go on to opening up my regular mail. So sorry if anyone's waiting for me to open the letter up on camera. It just would have been a lot of letter opening videos in one month. It's like a little pass the parcel. Oh, that's also gorgeous wrapping. I'm going to be doing a lot of journaling with my snail mail. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me journal with all of these beautiful bits and pieces that you guys add in your letters. I hope it's just layers of this beautiful paper. <laughs> I love pink. So I'm actually using my new lights today, so let me know also in the comments if you've noticed the difference of lighting in this video. This is so lovely. I'm really excited to see what's in this one. It's gorgeous already. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Even this little person holding like a massive letter. I think that's supposed to be Arietti. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Arietti. Out of um, one of the Jubilee movies. So the little letters in here. I won't open it up but everything's so gorgeous and teeny tiny. This even says the little things. I'm gonna have to take a photo before I open it because I know I'm gonna wreck it. I'll take this one out here. Oh, it's a little Totoro. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Oh, this is so lovely. So we've got a little washi tape sample and then even the background's beautifully designed. And then, what is in here? Oh, this is so cute. So these two are like little collaged pieces of paper. And I'm definitely putting those in one of those mini journals that I've opened up already. And then we've got a little snail mail. Okay, so it says snail mail. Oh, and then there's adorable like stickers in here. Thank you. I love this so much. Oh, oh, it's falling. This is honestly too cute. Okay, so if we flip it over, I think there's a little mail on the back here. 
I love these little stickers you've used. They remind me of the dolls in Japan. I think that's what they're meant to be. <gasps> More stickers! And they're all like, I think little Japanese stickers? Oh, this one's a glue stick and it's a little kitty cat. <laughs> oh, this is so lovely. Your collection is gorgeous. Thank you so much. What a lovely little flip book. This is so gorgeous. I love all the little collages you did. Thank you so much. I'm going to cherish this little book. <laughs> and then I think there's a little at on the back. I'll go check out and see if that's an Instagram later. Thank you. So this next envelope is from Libby and Libby's also a patron of mine. So I see Libby often on our Zoom chat. So it's really nice getting to know you. So I also want to show you this gorgeous wax seal on the back. It's very magical. It reminds me of Harry Potter. I really want to find this one. What have we got? Alrighty, so inside we have a postcard and it looks like we're going to have a little mini flip book. So first we've got a postcard and it says, it's not that many, but this one is. <laughs> so it's a postcard with a little mini postcard attached to it. All right, so we've got an envelope. And also I think this is going to be, oh yeah, it is. It's like a little mini flip book. Does it open again? Oh, <gasps> that's really cool. <laughs> All right, so on the first page with little stamps. <gasps> I love these little bears or like little puppies. I'm not sure what they're meant to be. And they're like lying in the grass. These are so sweet. What's on this side? It's a little mini envelope. Okay, I'll pop that one aside. And then we've got some more goodies in here. What is that? Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Okay. And then this opened back up. So we've got a playlist and then some washi tape samples. Oh yes. And some more goodies. Oh my goodness. This is honestly the cutest washi tape. I don't even know what these are meant to be. They're like little things. <laughs> I can't tell what they are, but they have faces and they're carrying things from the garden. So like strawberries and mushrooms and it looks like they've got diamonds as well. And then at the bottom here is also a gorgeous washi tape and it shimmers. I love these. Thank you. I also just want to mention that this little design here on the front is so cute. <laughs> so next we've got the little envelope and then the teeny tiny one. So I'll do the bigger one first. It says stamps. So hopefully we've got some stamp samples. Yes. I love a good set of stamp samples. These are perfect for collaging. So thank you so much for sending these over. And lastly, we've got this teeny weeny envelope that says to Brittany from Libby. And on the back it says open me. This is so cute, the little mini face. Okay. I'm going to try to open it before my camera decides to focus elsewhere. Okay, I think there's little goodies inside. Oh, they're little vegetables. <gasps> That's so cute. And then also these little people stickers. And also coffee. And then there's another little open me. This is so small. I hope you like these teeny stickers. Thank you so much. I don't even know how you folded this so small. There we go. Adorable. Thank you so much, Libby. I appreciate everything you made and you've got a gorgeous style of um, collaging. So thank you. We're not even halfway through and I'm getting so overwhelmed. <laughs> All right, this one's from Jacqueline and it looks so chunky. So I'm gonna take everything out but the letter. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, I'll pop that one aside. Oh my goodness, so the first thing inside is this shaker pocket and I can see that on the back there's double sided tape and it hasn't been undone yet, yet so I can put it on something, so I can put this on like a little journal. That's so lovely and it's so miniature as well. Oh my goodness, I didn't even know you could get paper pads this small. <laughs> this is so cute. 
and it's actually like thick cardstock. It's not that really thin origami paper, so it's perfect for collaging with. Oh, I love that one. I'll definitely be using these when I'm making pages for those mini journals. How lovely, thank you. And then this is so chunky. Okay, I might have to just cut the string because if not I'm going to be fiddling around with it for a while. So I think this is going to be a little accordion um, flip book so it might open up. Oh no, maybe it opens up like this. <gasps> This is so pretty. It says hi. So there's little cards in here. And then, oh it is! It's kind of like little pockets. I really want to recreate this. This is such a lovely idea. So each page opens up fully and then there's also like a thick pocket. So then it opens up again and then there's a thick pocket so you can fit so many goodies inside. So all of these goodies were inside and that is a lot of stuff. And there's also like these cute little handmade envelopes throughout as well. Thank you Jackie for this adorable little mini mail. I'm definitely going to recreate this one. So this next mail is from Tuba from the Netherlands. And I'm loving this vellum envelope with the strawberries on it. Let's see what we have inside. That is such a cute envelope. And it says on the back, read me first, this letter has a story. Okay. So inside the little envelope, it actually says, no, this is not the letter. I just want to say quick what I made. So a flip book with some extras, a fiction book from the thrift store, a notebook to write birthdays in and a magazine. And then it says a little bit strange. You will understand why. Okay. I'm so intrigued now. How did you get such many things of all of these that you described? There were so many on that list. I don't know how all of that fits inside of this tiny little envelope. Okay. <gasps> what? It's so miniature. I don't know why I get so surprised that it's so miniature each time because this is a mini mail challenge. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to do these two first and I love the little wax seals on top. Yes. Success. So my camera doesn't even want to focus on it because it's so tiny. Look at it. So it says, the night. This is adorable. I didn't know that you guys could make flip books or journals that were even smaller than the ones I've already seen. But I think this is the smallest journal ever made. That I've received at least. It's so tiny. Again, the second one is also so miniature. And this was the one that I can write birthdays inside. It's unfortunate because the little wax seal got stuck on the top, so it ripped a little. Again, my camera does not want to focus in on something that's so tiny. And this one has dot paper. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. Thank you. So the next one here is a little magazine. So I'll move these aside. And I needed to put my hand up again so it focuses. And I'll see if I can slide this out. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's teeny tiny heads inside. I'll try to do like a flip through. So is it gonna flip? That's so small, I love it. So this one here has a little wax seal on it. And it says air mail for you. Maybe the little letters inside of here. It's a little flip book. We got coffee, life is a party, the letter, uh, a little quote and some washi tape samples. I was not expecting there to be also a flip book in this one. This is so cute. Thank you so much. I'm gonna read your letter after this video. How did this go back in? There we go. Such a cute idea to make all of these little mini journals and flip book. Thank you. So next I thought I'd pick up this Alice in Wonderland one because you guys know I love Alice in Wonderland if you've been watching my videos for a while. So let's see what's inside. So this letter is actually from Amanda, also from Australia in New South Wales. Oh, there's so much inside of this. Did I get everything? Nope. There's more. Oakley, Oakley, what have we got? So 
So the first thing I picked up was this little envelope that says mini mail. So in this little card, we've got the Insta YouTube. So I'll have to check out your YouTube channel. And then what you're watching, listening to and munching. <laughs> I love that you got a little munching section. So next is a little envelope. <gasps> and I think they're little flowers that I can use for crafts. Yes. All right. I'm not going to take them all out because it will be like really hard for me to get these back in. Um, but I really appreciate these little goodies. I can't wait to use them. I've been making lots of loaded tags lately, so they're going to be perfect for those. Okay, I was wondering if there's going to be any Alice in Wonderland references. And this Don't Be Late definitely ties in with the Alice in Wonderland theme. And then look what this is. It is a mini mail kit. So I don't know if you can see that, but these are little mini envelopes lined up at the back here. I'm not going to open it up, but I can definitely tell that that's what they are. And then I'm guessing the front is all the writing paper that you use to put in the envelopes. I love that so much. That is such a creative idea. This is so cool. So it's like a little tag flip book and it says, I'm not crazy. My reality is just different from yours. I love that quote. And it's such a lovely charm. Thank you. And then we've got all these little Alice in Wonderland references and everything's been designed so lovely. So let me flip this one. Oops, is it going to flip? Yeah. <gasps> and then some washi tape samples. Oh, I love that. And then all of these little stickers inside. Some more washi tape samples and twine. Oh, and it's even decorated on the back too. We're all mad here. I love that. And then all of these little Alice in Wonderland cutouts. And it's a little pocket. This is so lovely. Oh, I'm putting this straight into my journal. I love Alice in Wonderland. Thank you. Alrighty. So next, I think we're still going down the Alice in Wonderland theme because this looks like a tea bag. This is so cool. This is so cute. What is this? Is it a journal? It is! Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is like a super chunky journal. Creativity takes courage. There's quotes and there's something inside of these pockets. There was so much inside of this little journal. I honestly don't know how you fit it all in. It's so chunky for a tiny journal. I love it. And it actually looks like you've done the design of sticking little mini envelopes on top of one another to make it. How cute. It's really well made as well. It's staying together really well. So thank you. So next we have another little tea bag. Let's see what's inside this one. Lots and lots of goodies. Okay, so we've got like little embellishments and little tags. Oh, thank you. I'm going to be making mini mail for days <laughs> with all these goodies that you guys have given me. Thank you so much. And lastly, we also have this chunky envelope and there's a Walt Disney quote on the front. So I love that. And it looks like there is a lot of stuff inside of here. Let's see if I can get it all out. Oops. They're Alice in Wonderland stickers. Thank you so much. I don't know if you know that I'm an Alice in Wonderland fan, but I really appreciate this. I'm gonna be using all of these. Thank you so much for sending me all these goodies. Everything was made so well and I can see that you've put a lot of time and effort into it. So I really do appreciate it. And of course, I adore the Alice in Wonderland theme. So thank you. This one is from Vienna from Canada. Look how thin it is. <laughs> so small and delicate. Oh, and there's an Instagram underneath as well. And it says, it's a book account, not a pen pal one. Okay, I'll go check it out after the video. Thank you. So in the corner, it says mini mail challenge 2021. I love that. I'm going to have to snip this, I think. So this looks like it's going to be a little mini flip book. There's some succulent stickers on the front and also a little stamp on the back. So let's open it up. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little mini tag. I adore your handwriting so much. And it says little tag. That's so sweet. 
We've got a teeny tiny letter. Oh, and this says open me, like it points at the washi tape. Oh my goodness, what a lovely idea. I love that this is a pocket and it flaps open. I am definitely going to use that. And then we've got paint samples that matches in with this gorgeous theme. We've also got a teeny tiny washi tape sample, teeny tiny sticker samples. I'm just gonna flip this one back down. And then what have we got, oops, what have we got on this side? Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, that is gorgeous. That's going straight in my journal. Thank you so much, that looks handmade. And then we've also got recommendations that says books, movies and TV shows. Oh, I love that you've got Gilmore Girls, The Good Place. These ones are great recommendations. Thank you. Such a lovely little flip book. Thank you so much. I think that's such a simple and sweet design and you manage to fit so much in. Like there's tags, this opens up, also a washi tape sampled letter and stickers. So you've got like all the little elements into this adorable little flip book. So thank you. So this next one is from Haley from the United States. And again, it's so thin. <laughs> what is in here? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this idea of these pressed flowers. That's so sweet. And then we have these two teeny tiny envelopes and they've been decorated really beautifully. This one says for you and the other one says to you. <laughs> All right, let's open this one up first. This is so sweet. It's a little tiny book and it says a bookmark for you. So we've got, oops, it fell. We've got the teeny tiny bookmark and then it says read. And then it says you are so loved by many. Oh, this is so tiny and sweet. Thank you. And then this one says for you. So we'll open it up. And there's some little stickers inside. I love these little mushrooms. Oh, these are so cute. Thank you so much, Haley. This was so delicate and sweet. I love your designs. This next letter is from Lily, also from Australia. And a huge thank you because Lily's recently joined my Patreon. Um, so I hope you enjoy our little crafty community over there. So let's see what's inside. So... We have the letter, I'll read that one after. And then we've got this teeny tiny envelope inside that says mini mail. All right, let's open it up. I adore this washi tape that you've chosen for the envelope. I really, really like it. And I haven't really seen anything like that before. <gasps> I think we have a teeny tiny flip book. Oh, it's so small. It's so small. Okay, I need to take a photo. <laughs> There's even a little charm on the side and it's a little bicycle. And then I think this is a little wax seal here. I love the colors that you've selected as well. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how I'm gonna get anything out of this. So as you can see, there was a little dried flower, but it just fell off. And then what is this? I think it might be either a letter or writing paper. I'm not going to be able to get this back inside. <laughs> so it's just some really pretty decorative paper that I can reuse. And yeah, I'm not going to attempt to put that back in. I'll pop this little flower down too. And it's the tiniest little pocket there. Oh, I love the collages of this. Everything's designed so pretty. So we've got a little mail tag, is it? Oh, it's literally a tag. Hi. And then we've got washi sample of this gorgeous washi that I love. So thank you. And then shine bright. And then a little stamp. And this is the middle. That's what it's been attached. Um, we've got a little mini tea bag. 
Oh, that's so cute. A little tea time. Then we've got some stickers of a little teacup. And then she just let us know that this is her fave washi tape. Oops, I hope these aren't stuck together. And then a little typewriter. That was so lovely. Thank you so much for that. I'm definitely going to pop this one in my journal. Actually, I could pop these on my shelf because I've got a little mini mail shelf above my desk. So I can pop that one in there. Thank you. So this little Pooh Bear envelope is also from an Aussie. I'm so surprised how many Australians actually entered this year. I usually get mail internationally, but I'm just loving this. This was from Alex, also from New South Wales. So the address is on the back, so I'll open it up this way. And it looks like we've got some handmade paper inside. So I can see the washi tape already, little washi tape sample there, so thank you. And then we've got, I'll just open up this. Oh, look at the little paper crane. <gasps> it's so small. It's like the same size as my nail and my nail is very small. <laughs> okay, I'll pop that one aside. And then I can see you've got like a little washi, I mean, sorry, not washi tape, um, wax seal stamp. Alrighty, we have a bag of goodies and I can see most of them are stickers. So I'm not gonna open that one up on camera just cause this video is already, I've been filming for like two hours. I think this one is the little letter. So again, I won't open that up. And then, oh my goodness, Australia Art Gallery photos, 1980 to 90. I'm gonna have to open this up. This looks amazing. Please let me know if this is your own photography, if you found these ones. How cool is this? Oh, thank you so much for sharing that with me. I love that. So we also have a little drawing of this woman holding a cat. This is so sweet. I love this art. Is that also on, I thought it was sticker paper, but I think it's just regular paper. And then I think this one here's the poem. So I'll read that one afterwards. Another little drawing. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> And then we've got some homemade paper. Thank you so much, Alex, for sending over this mini mail. I really got a sense of who you are from the drawings and the homemade paper and the little crane. It really has a sense of craftiness to it. So thank you. So this next one here is actually from Rev. Rev's one of my patrons and we actually chat monthly over in our Zoom call on Patreon. So it's really nice that I've got to know you face to face rather than just via mail. So I'm really excited to see what is inside of this one today. Also, I just wanna let you guys know that in my next video, I'm actually opening up a mystery stationery package from Rev. So I'm really excited to show you guys that video because it was a lot of fun. Your collages and the styling of this is gorgeous. I love this sticker. All right, and then again, it says mini mail challenge. <laughs> so a letter for you, I'll pop that one aside. <gasps> Thank you so much for these washi tape samples. These washi tapes are so unique. I've never seen this one like ever. They're kind of like math equations. I can't wait to use these. Thank you. And then we've got another little envelope. Oh, again, this is really lovely. It's a flip book where you put two envelopes and you sticky tape them together. So we've got little goodies. So we've got stickers in this one. I love these stickers. I actually got a few of these ones in the stationery box that she gifted. And I thought these were so gorgeous because they're gold foil. So they shine. And then some ephemera. So lots of little like tags and goodies. Oh, these are so pretty. What a cute little collection. I can't wait to read your letter. So we have another Aussie mini mail. Again, I'm so surprised how many Australians sent mini mails in this year. This is from Juanita. So let's see what we've got. All right, is that everything? Oh, no, I missed one. This looks so colorful and fun. Okay, so we've got like a little mini cacti, envelope of goodies. We've got little tea. And then this is so lovely, this charm. Oh, is there a tea inside? 
Oh no, I think it's like a little card, like a little decorative card. Thank you. Look how cool this stamp is. It says Airmail Australia. So we've got the little letter in there. I'll pop that one down. And then it looks like this is a handmade envelope. I'll try not to rip it. Oops. And there are so many goodies in this one. Okay. So we've got a little bee wax seal and even mini a mail inside. It's so tiny. A mini playing card, little Australian sticker. I think these are just cards. And then a black currant and blueberry tea. I've never tried that flavor. Thank you so much. These are so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, what's inside? So, it looks like we've got a teeny tiny washi tape sample. And then some writing paper. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. And last, we've got this little cacti and it opens up to another little flip book. Cute. <laughs> hey, I didn't say she did. <laughs> oh, and this little tea. Another little washi tape sample. And some stickers inside of this little pocket here. And it says, live, laugh, love. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Oh, this is so sweet. Thank you so much, Juanita, for entering. And I'll read your little letter later. I'm also going to put this gorgeous collage into my journal. So thank you. So we've got the lucky last letter for today. This is from Nanette, also a patron of mine. So thank you so much. So many patrons joined the mini mail challenge and she's from New Zealand. That's why we've got these gorgeous New Zealand stamps at the top here. So let's see what's inside. So we've got the letter here. So again, I'll open up the letter off camera. And this is gorgeous. It looks like this is made out of washi tape, this writing here that says letter. And then I'm guessing this is the envelope that has all the mini mails inside. And then there's also my little address on here and a little stamp. <laughs> so lovely. Every year you guys get more and more creative and smaller. I feel like you guys are getting smaller each year. Okay, so it just got smaller again. This one says happy mail and it's an even tinier envelope inside. What's in here? Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Look at all these little mini envelopes. These are so small. So we've got four little envelopes and unfortunately some of the washi tape peeled off the front, but that's all right because you got to see them beautifully designed before I peeled off the washi. Oops. So it looks like they all have little goodies inside. So this one has a beautiful sticker of a butterfly. I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but there's definitely a butterfly theme happening here. <laughs> so we've got all these cute little butterfly cutouts. And even the envelopes have butterflies on them. So once upon, and it's a cute little puffy sticker. And then I think we've got some more stickers. Oh no, some more butterflies. And I think they're also stickers. Very cute. I'm loving this little butterfly theme today. So next, what do we have in here? So I think these are stickers on top and then underneath are all these little pretty pattern paper and there's lots of butterfly themes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Annette, for sending this through. All of these teeny tiny envelopes were so gorgeous and I loved the theme running through this letter. So thank you so much for entering this little mini mail challenge. So I just opened up Nanette's last envelope to see the letter inside and not only was there a teeny letter, there was also so many goodies. Look at these gorgeous stickers, they look homemade. And then there was also this teeny tiny picture book and it's also bound together. It's so lovely with, I think these are all stamps of hers that she must have in her collection. It's so tiny, so thank you so much. Thank you so much for everyone who participated in the mini mail challenge this year. I absolutely loved all your entries, so it's gonna be really hard to choose a favorite, but I encourage you all to go in the description section now and vote for your favorite. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.